Steve, terrific performance today. Um, and clearly, when Craig Stone, who I thought was man of the match last week at Merston, goes off after four minutes, we're all thinking, Christ, what's going to happen now? And yet, I tell you what, those youngsters and others really stepped up to the plate today, didn't they? Yeah, uh, very pleased with them. Um, playing against a good side in, in terms of Met Police that haven't changed their, their shape or their, their personnel um, by a massive margin. Um, and I thought we'd done very well. I thought the experienced players brought the younger ones through and the energy of the younger ones was fantastic. But it goes to show with us, if you want to go jump the gun, Callum, you know, he's come back in. Um, we won last week, his loan's finished, so he's got to sit on the bench. Um, comes on after four minutes. I actually went and watched him play right back for Whiteleaf. So when we send these players to these clubs, we get them playing in positions that we may need them for. And obviously with that, we switched Liam to left back. Callum's gone at right back, and I know he can do that. It's it, worked, it worked a treat. You look like they've all been playing together for years. Yeah, right? but they're, they're, that's it. They go out and get experience. You know, Jack Fenton, he's come in, and because we've been light on bodies, he's had to sit on the bench. I haven't been able to get him out on loan. He showed some glimpses today of what he can do. Mm. There's a couple of things there that he could iron up on, but he's a young lad that, that hasn't played at this level before. And I thought he'd done well. Tashi, as, as the interview he'd done last week and told um, Matt, he come back expecting to play. Um, he's now got his head down and got his head right and focused in terms of playing football, in training and in matches. And today, he showed a good performance for, for the boys. But I thought, I thought they were exceptional at each and every one of them. And they got to have a huge pat on the back today because after what happened last week, um, it's a big kick in the, in the nuts for them, if you like. Uh, and they've got to stand up and be counted. And I told them, no excuses today. That's all I put on the ball, no excuses, because they, it's easy to look for excuses when, when turmoil like that happens and they didn't, they went out and got about their job, restricted them to minimal chances, took our chance when they come along and that's what we've done in the last three games and that's what's got us results and I'm so pleased for them and, and the staff that have worked hard and uh, like I say, if it continue, great. Two great goals, very different in execution but really well constructed both of them and I love uh, Liam's goal particularly the way he stole completely unmarked round the back. I mean, yep. Jim Cooper will be furious with the marking, but basically it was because he stole on the back and no yeah. one picked him up. But it's getting round the back and then it's actually hitting the target. And if you hit the target, get a chance. And it's, it's a great, great goal. Um, Joe Turner's, we actually, if you go back, it was thrown out from Johnny to Callum. He's yep. gone 10, 15 yards, played it inside to Alex, who's reversed it to Joe. Um, and it's in the back of the net. So two well-worked goals, um, two pleasing goals. But another thing is, is the clean sheet. Clean sheet. You know, Paul's yeah. come in and done well. Bev's is just coming back. You know, the two young lads that come in. Um, but I think if they're old, if, if they're good enough, they're old enough. So you can look into it, they're 18 years of age. But we've we've had them training with us for nearly a season now, uh, and more from last year. Um, they've played games for us, so they're, they're not. Um, naive about what we want them to do, they're buying into what we want them to do and, and they carry on doing that, they'll be alright, so very pleased with each and every one of them today. A good team Met Police, we know that, we know what they can do, mm -hmm. uh, the table doesn't lie as they say, I think they're in 6th or 7th spot, um, and yet we made them look quite ordinary and again, similar to Merston, I can't really remember Johnny having to make a serious save all afternoon, a couple of long shots which he, which he had to take with his body, but. Not really, again, not a very busy day for Johnny. No, I was speaking to a couple of the boys in the change room after Jim. I think if you go back to when we played Met Police a few weeks ago, um, Jim will probably, knowing Jim, will think the same as what I thought that night. You know, none, none of our players turn up, and albeit give ourselves a lot of credit for not letting them do it, I don't think many of their players turn up today. But if they don't, you've got to capitalise on that and punish them. You know, and we've done that. So it's fair play to our boys, and, and I'm very, very, like I say, I can't speak highly of them because all through this season they've been doing it, um, and we're getting our rewards now of, of making sure we're solid, taking our chances when they come along. You know, Alex didn't have many chances today, but he played up front on his own, and he worked Super. tirelessly up there. Super. You know, and when we went forward, we looked a threat. With, with, with the players we had, we, we looked a threat. So that's a good thing. And when, you, when you've got the security behind you, you're allowed to go and play with a bit of freedom. and. Let's get it right. Where we are in, in, in the league at the minute, people can say that it's uh, go for broke if you like. No, because we're still doing the same things on the training ground, you know, and we're getting our rewards for it. So I think it's, what's it, 12 games left? Win them, we've got every chance of winning the playoffs, win all 12, you know what I mean, Jim? Yeah, 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 no, definitely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he said with a smile on his face. Um, well, Binariki did lose 5 2 today, apparently. But anyway, uh, 
On to the not such good news. Look to be obviously Craig Stone's injury. What do we know about that? Paul, Paul his quad. Um, so again, let that settle down and see, see how Mel gets on with that. You know, Sam Bantic played out there today with with a cold. Okay. Uh, Jeff played with a cold. Yeah. For them to get through what what they did was was fantastic. You know. And going back to it, Liam hasn't played many minutes, got through the full 90. Jack Parter goes into midfield, looked like he played all his life. Yeah. Um, Sonny and Paul, I thought they were solid all, all afternoon. Johnny, um, Tashi, you know, playing in an orthodox position for him. You know, yeah. he went to Thamesmead and he played in that position this year for Thamesmead. And he's come back and played it, and I thought he'd done well. You know, Definitely. Joe and, and Alex, so I thought, and even the subs that come on, I thought they were, I thought they were fantastic that day, and they really deserve that result. Definitely. Well, well done today. You've sent home the supporters, I'm sure, very, very happy with that performance. So it's three wins on the spin now. Well, yeah. four. I'm, I'm counting Whiteleaf as well. Okay. You've got yeah. to say everything you can do. So, <laughs> no, very pleased for them. Yeah. And like I say, we've got Leaston, which is a tough game on Tuesday, providing the weather. Um, and again, we're going to have patched up bodies. But if they give me everything, I can't ask for no more. And like I say, they're doing it at the minute. And the best thing about it, they're giving me everything and they're getting the rewards for it, which I'm so pleased for them. Definitely. Well done, Steve. Cheers, Jim. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks, Bob. That was the first competitive goal for us. How did that feel? Uh, yeah, I think I've been away for a little while now. So, uh, as you can tell by the celebration, I've been planning that one. So, uh, yeah, it's a good, good feeling. Yeah, and, and I suppose when you sort of practice things like set pieces, you don't necessarily expect me to sort of make shift left back to arrive at the far post. Yeah, uh, no, normally in set pieces, I normally stand back with Jack Parr or something, so I don't normally go up, so yeah, it's just a bit of got in the right place. Yeah, so uh, talk us through it, what did it? Uh, I what think I like just goal? behind uh, Sonny, the marker was on me, and I've just run around Sonny, and the I've lost my marker, back post, put my name on it, and just edged it in. And and it feels good as a team now, doesn't it? It's three straight straight wins, yeah. uh, and you're back in the starting eleven with Tom having left the club. But, yeah. um, so it's been uh, been an interesting couple of weeks, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Like obviously, we don't want to let them free go, but um, yeah, we're doing well still. We just got to keep them grafting and losing stones today. It might be a big miss. We don't know how long he's going to be, but we just got to keep going to the end of the season. Really. Mm. What what are the, the aims now and the targets? As um, I think uh, now we know like we so we're safe for like. Uh, like you never know playoffs or whatever, but I think we just got to relax. And I think because we've been relaxing, we've been playing well. So just keep on doing what we're doing. You never know where you end up. Mm. And what must be particularly pleasing is the contrast of this game with a well-deserved victory compared to the away game against the same opposition. Yeah, I think uh, we put I put a lot more effort in. Uh, formation change might have suited us a bit more today okay. with their free midfield. Yeah, yeah. and. Um, are you playing in what, three different positions today? Uh, yeah, three different positions. I can play obviously I can play either right back or left back. Mm. Um, played for the under 18s last year a little bit in centre mid, but yeah, I can play there and it's just obviously the gaffers just put me there for the down having to come off. Yeah, and also the other thing I noticed as well, first time this game before Stoney came off, you were getting forward an awful lot down that right hand side. So it's just a shame that only <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the last five minutes in that position, although you were still doing it on the left yeah, hand side yeah. as well. Um, yeah, because they were playing obviously three at the back, uh, they got wing backs, the wing backs not going to be on tight of me, so there's mm. no winger. So I've got that license, that's the thing we're playing when they play three at the back. So uh, yeah, it was a bit of a joy. But uh, yeah, I've got down the left back, obviously, it's not as natural, but it's still kind of down the line. Yeah, running the match as well today. I don't know how much the players notice when the announcement goes out. Um, uh, I didn't did notice it. No, I didn't. You don't really. You it might hear a little bit, but yeah, I got told after the game that yeah, it's a good feeling. Yeah, that's that's lovely, isn't it? Um, and it's Leicester away Tuesday night, weather permitting. Yeah. How do you feel about that one? Uh, you just got to put your head on the game, as in it. Uh, it might not be on. You don't know, but you got to keep on thinking that it's going to be on get the right uh, frame of mind um, you know, hopefully if it is we get another three points. Mm, and then next Saturday it's a good team to, to, to pit ourselves up against uh, with, with Dulwich from the strongest teams in the league. Yeah, um, yeah, but any team can beat any team in this league so I think we've just got to go in there with a uh, high tempo and just high enthusiasm and then just do as well as we can and then you never know what result you'll get. Mm. Alright, well, enjoy watching the video of your first goal yeah, for the club. Well, well, thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Second goal for the Angels, scored by number two, Liam Smith.